name is Karen Brown. Um, I have currently hold a Bachelor of Science in Nursing and completing a Master's degree in uh, Leadership. Um, I work at Stanton Territorial Hospital as the manager of an extended care unit. Currently, well, since I began my career in nursing, I have held a position at Stanton Territorial Hospital um, that is located in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. I initially moved um, to the north from Alberta back in 1993 at that time as an addictions and mental health worker. Um, I chose to transition to nursing essentially um, because I felt like I wanted to uh, jump into psychiatric nursing. So I began a degree program here in the north in 2004 and graduated in 2008. And since that time, I have held several positions um, at Stanton Territorial Hospital in Yellowknife. The North is is so diverse. Um, I love that the lifestyle is really simple. I love that there are so many opportunities to enjoy um, the geography. Everything is very untouched and um, and being on the Canadian Shield, it's uh, there's a certain beauty about the North that just um, keeps me really grounded. What drew me to nursing essentially was um, a desire to um, meld two careers. So I was working in mental health and addictions and saw myself um, becoming a nurse in the area of psychiatry. Um, so that was my initial draw to nursing. Um, in the North, it, this was my home. Um, I firmly planted myself here. I really enjoyed the people, um, the geography, um, and the, the way of living here. So I have really no desire to leave the North and, and want to continue um, working and growing my nursing career here. One of the most memorable experiences I had was with a palliative patient who, um, at the end of life, we brought the family in, and um, and the family had the family had some certain, I guess, traditions and things that they wanted to to do with their loved one as as he was passing. Um, and I got to be a part of that experience, and it was um, it made for me um, the ability to to be a part of the transition uh, from life to death to share that experience with the family and to experience the amount of love that was in that room, it will always be with me. It was very memorable. Funny that that question should come up. Um, I just finished a um, project um, for my master's degree about the scope of practice for LPNs. And so I have a totally different understanding of what scope of practice actually means. Um, often, and, and certainly in the literature, we, we talk about scope of practice as being a skill set of, of nurses. Um, so in that sense, working to my full scope of practice would, would mean that I'm working to um, my fullest potential in terms of the skill set that I have, but also having a commitment to expanding that skill set. COVID-19 has brought about many, many changes to the way that we approach our work and, and the way that we, um, we practice um, every day with our residents. So, um, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing about COVID-19, of course, was to reduce the spread of COVID-19 and keep people safe. And so many of the things that we do now um, like limiting visitors to the long-term care facility, um, donning PPE for every intervention with, um, with our residents, 
Um, those are the types of things that we have changed. We've we've had to implement um, virtual visits with families. So that's been new for us. COVID-19 has definitely made us look at um, old practices and we've implemented new practices in terms of infection prevention and control. Um, so I think that Although it was really difficult um, for people and there was a lot of uncertainty, I do believe that COVID-19 has been the catalyst for some very positive change as well. You know, I think, again, the pandemic, there's been a lot of uncertainty. There's been a lot of new practices that have come forward. Um, in terms of support, I think, um, you know, at this point, we can start to maybe launch into some lessons learned. We can start to look at um, things that have worked for us, things, uh, you know, changes. Are we are we going to carry out or carry on with some of the changes that were implemented? What does that look like in the future? So I think still there's still a lot of unanswered questions um, in terms of support. Again, I think um, you're relying on um, we're relying on like the World Health Organization um, to kind of guide us over the next couple of years in terms of next steps. Oh my gosh! Um, I I I my middle name is Fun. I like to uh, I play hockey with the women's hockey league here. I love to go fishing. We have so many bodies of water around um, Yellowknife. We are located on the shores of the Great Slave Lake, which is one of the largest bodies in North America. Um, the fishing is amazing. I've also learned how to golf um, doing that. Um, so anything that has fun in it, I'm in. <laughs>